You ready? Nine four. Um, this is my favorite of the transformations because you get to put a couple together, and I just feel like it's fun to challenge myself a little. Um, we're gonna do. They're called glide reflections. Really, a glide reflection is a slide and a reflection. Okay, so you know how to do a translation, a slide and you know how to do a reflection, now we're gonna do them together, but you have to make sure you do them in the right order, and that's the place that you really gotta just pay attention. Um, so a glide reflection is what I just said, a slide followed by a flip, okay? Or a translation, if you will, followed by a reflection, okay? Um, does it have same or opposite orientation? If it slides and then flips. Opposite. opposite. Anything that flips, as long as it doesn't flip twice, is going to have opposite orientation. Okay, so this is going to have opposite orientation. Um, we'll do a little recap of what has what kind of orientation in a little bit. Um, but we're just going to do two glide reflections and then we're done. The whole thing? Yeah. That's the whole lesson. Um, so the first one we're going to do, it says graph triangle RST. And I always need to see your original triangle. Okay, so give me the original, the one you started with, and then do the glide reflection for me. Um, so R is at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here's R. S is at negative 2, 1, 2, 3. So here's S. T is at negative 3, 1. So this is your starting triangle. Okay? So I did that in purple. It says, what is the image? So this is your pre-image. What is the image? What is the resulting figure if we do this glide reflection? Okay? Now, most important thing for you to remember here is that little open dot is the word after. Okay, um, because if you think about this, then we're saying a reflection over the line y equals zero. I'm going to write this out just so you know how it's read. You don't need to write this for me ever, but I'm just writing it so you know how to read it. A reflection over the line y equals zero after a translation of eight zero. Okay, so which of those things do you do first? Translation. The translation, right? It looks backwards. Um, it's a glide reflection. So if you just remember the name, the name says the order, glide and then reflect. The rule says it backwards, okay? So don't just follow the rule, follow the name, glide and then reflect, okay? Um, so we're going to start with a translation of eight zero. Where does that move us? Eight, eight spots to the right. Eight to the right. Okay. So here's what you're going to do from RST from R. We're going to just do R first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And I'm not going to call it R prime yet because we're not done. Um, S one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is here. And then T, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is here. Okay. Now, I don't even care if you don't draw that triangle in because it's not your final answer. Um, if it helps you to draw it in just to see it, you're welcome to. That's up to you. You have to draw in the final triangle. Okay. And the final triangle will come after we do the reflection part. Okay, so this says a reflection over the line y equals zero. What is the line y equals zero? The x-axis. That is your x-axis. Okay, here's x, here's y. y equals zero is this line. Which figure are we gonna flip over that line? The purple or the blue? blue. The blue, okay. So we're gonna take this as our line of reflection. And we're going to flip R, S, and T, that are the blue ones, over that line, and then you're done. Um, where does your T need to move? 
It's gonna move down two from where it is right now. Right now it's one above the line. So you need to go one below the line and then you can call that T prime, okay? S right now is one, two, three above our line of reflection. So we're gonna go one, two, three below our line of reflection and that's gonna be S prime. And then R is one, two, three, four above. So one, two, three, four below is gonna be R prime. So our glide reflection puts us right there. Okay, we started here, we ended here. Okay, um, I don't need to see the little bumpies, right? If you wanna put them there, that's fine. I don't need to see that. I do need to see the three figures if you don't put lines on the middle one, that's okay, but I still wanna see where your points landed for your slide and then reflect it, okay? Um, real quick, same orientation versus opposite orientation. If you think about this, RST is, if we're naming it RST, we're going clockwise. So what should R prime, S prime, T prime be? Counterclockwise. So just check that R prime, S prime, T prime is moving counterclockwise. So we know we flipped, which is a good sign, okay? Um, that will always have opposite orientation. Questions on that? Okay, I want you to try the next one then. It's the exact same process with different numbers to work with, okay? I will plot ABC just to make sure you're starting in the right place. Um, but you should definitely be able to plot those by now. And if you're not, if you're mixing that up, talk to me before tomorrow because you are taking a quiz on this. I want you to be able to graph it properly, okay? Um, so try this on your own. Three, negative two is gonna put you here for A. One, two, I'm gonna move my A or we're gonna end up overlapping. One, two, three, four, five, negative one is your B. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five is your C. So this should be your starting point. If it's not, maybe raise your hand and I will come figure out with you where you're going wrong. Work this out real fast. How do you feel about it? Think you got it? Um, okay, so which part do you do first? Translation first. So we're going to go two to the left and four up. Okay. So A is two to the left, one, two, three, four up. B is two to the left, one, two, three, four up. And C is two to the left, one, two, three, four up. Um, again, if you want to draw that triangle in, go for it. You don't have to draw in the lines for me if you don't want to. Now we're going to reflect over x equals negative two. Where is that? It's the, uh, two left of the y-axis. Two left of the y-axis, that's a great way to say it. So x equals, remember whenever it's x equals a number, it is a vertical line. If it's y equals a number, it's a horizontal line, okay? Keep that straight. Um, here's how I always tell people to remember it if you can't remember which is which. Once I draw this line in, if I think about what points are on that line, this is the point negative two, zero. This is the point negative two, one. This is the point negative two, three. The thing that stays the same is my X. That's the line X equals negative two, okay? Um, so hopefully that's helpful if you're struggling with where those lines go. Okay, um, then you need to flip the pink one or the purple one? The pink, okay? Your new image is gonna get flipped over that line. So right now, A is three to the right. So you're gonna go one, two, three to the left, and that's gonna be A prime. Um, B is one, two, three, four, five to the right. So one, two, three, four, five to the left is gonna be B prime. And then C, one, two, three, four, go one, two, three, four. So that's C prime and you end up with that as your triangle, okay? And just check it, does it change orientation? A, B, C goes clockwise, A prime, B prime, C prime 
goes counterclockwise, that's a good sign. At least we have the right orientation, right? Any questions on that? Oh, wait, okay, so you're basically saying whatever it says, like, if it says, you know, like, it says R, X equals negative 2, so that's where it becomes, like, the opposite of the line. This? But then if it says, like, Y equals Y axis, then it would be the y. line. The y-axis is vertical, yeah. right? So it's only when it's y equals a number is horizontal. Of, like what of what you would expect yeah. for the axis, yes. Okay, so when there's a number, it's the opposite of what you'd expect. But when it's just x-axis or y, then, then it's the axis itself, x or y. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so here's your quick recap. Tell me which transformations that we've done. We've done four, right? We started with a translation then a reflection, then a rotation, now a glide reflection. So those are the four types of transformations we've done so far. Which of those have same orientation and which have opposite orientation? Give me a same orientation. Translation. A translation has the same orientation. It does not change direction when you're naming it, okay? Um, what's an opposite orientation one? A reflection. What's the other opposite orientation one? Glide a glide reflection. Basically, anything that has a reflection in it, as long as it's not a reflection followed by a reflection, because that would bring it back to its original, um, that has opposite orientation. So what's the other one that has same orientation? Rotation. A rotation. Okay. Questions on that? Okay, so your quiz tomorrow is 9-1 to 9-4, and it is basically, I give you some pictures and I say, tell me what type of transformation do you see? Just be able to identify that's a translation, that's a rotation, that's a reflection, that's a glide reflection. Um, and then most of the rest of it is graphs like you did today. Like, here's something, do the reflection. Here's something, do the translation. Here's something, do the glide reflection, right? Um, you do have to do a rotation, so you do need your tools, compass and protractor, because you will be doing a rotation of some number of degrees. Um, and that pretty much makes up your quiz then. Any questions on that?